Hey everybody, what's up? Shoe Funk here, and we're live on Twitch as well as recording for YouTube. So if you're watching live, that's great. Welcome. We're glad you're here to watch the recording. If you're watching on YouTube, sorry you missed it, but hey, you at least know I'm on Twitch from time to time. So in this video, um, you saw me do a little bit of work earlier, and you saw some stuff around my farm. You kind of wondered, what do I have? I mean, heck, you might be new to the game. So let me explain what I got. I pretty much got all the basics that you need in the game. Um, what you're looking at is my tractor. Um, it's pretty much the main thing in the game to have. You gotta, I got at least two right now. The other one's in the shed somewhere, I think. Where's my other tractor? Oh, there's my truck. Oh, the tractor's next to the truck. Yeah, I got a red tractor and I got a green tractor. <laughs> And this is my newest one. It's got better horsepower, and um, it seems that the startup tractors are not that great, at least for plowing and stuff. Um, they somehow get old or something. I don't know. That's weird. So anyway, um, as for the machines themselves, um, let's go to the basics of farming, I guess. So basically, what you do is if you are if you just finished harvesting and clearing up the area then you're ready to to seed soon right so you use this thing the plow this is my basic plower and there's different ones you can buy um, they're called cultivators actually you see there's plows and there's cultivators I think the plows are for as if you were about to do corn and stuff but I don't have the money or the machines to do potatoes and corn and all that stuff so anyway I've been using cultivators there's the basic cultivator and you start out with one and there's different sizes but hey that one just just the job but um you use that and then next you use the actual seeder which is this right here and this could seed pretty much everything, um, except for potatoes and beets and corn, I think. I think. Maybe you can do corn, I don't know. So with that, you got the um, sewing machines. And there's the basic one, and there's the next step up. See, that one does, it looks like potatoes. That one does... Pretty much all the same as that one, but less. And then this one does looks like potatoes only. And that one does looks like wheat and barley. That one's almost the same as the first one. Nope, oh, no, that's the same as this one. So yeah, it seems that this one does everything, almost everything. So I don't know. Uh, if you want to take a longer time to seed, fuck, use that. I don't know. I'm not the best person to really go for learning this game. I'm just showing off what I know. So anyway, when you're done with that, you use a harvester. And your first harvester you get is this one right here to the left. And it's a pretty good, decent size. Um... I can't remember how, how big of a cargo hold it has, but I can show you the specs on the actual um, on the actual place where you buy them. Like this one right here has a bigger cargo hold. It's bigger, obviously. And then you got, I think, two more different types of this particular one. Like, um, there's that one that does pretty much everything. That one it does everything. That one does everything. And then this one right here only does one type. But the hose itself does a 360. So your truck can pretty much follow it and it um, won't have to like follow its direct path in a way. And that, that one definitely I know for sure um, is for corn. Anyway, now the headers themselves are 
there's the basic one, and it's only 4.2 meters. The, the bigger one is 5.5 meters or 18 feet, as you can see down there, obviously. The next one I can do is 35 feet, which is pretty long, but it's $54,000, right? Well, I can't just use the new one that I have. I have to buy another one. So with that being said, I'll have to buy, I think, this one, which is $235,000. So we're going to be a while to even get to that stage. I think for now, that one's good. So anyway, there's my harvesters. And I'm using these right here. These are pretty much tier two of the tippers. And, oops, press the wrong buttons here. See, there's the basic tipper right there. It's like a little wagon that only holds 8,500 tons, while this one held 21,000. And the thing I noticed is this one right here, even though it's next tier up, it's higher. So you can't use this one with the low end um, harvester. You can only use these two with the low end harvester. So um, I pretty much started the game with three of these. And then when after my first harvest, I bought two of these. So that's where I am right now. Now, since I'm going to have two harvesters running, I'm going to buy one of these, which would be enough for the big field. Because that's where I'm going to put the big harvester at the big field and the small harvester at the small field. It's going to be the same stuff being harvested, so it's not going to be a big deal. And then, um, if I wanted to, I can actually buy this one, which is about an 8,000 difference. And I think it's roughly the same height. I just don't want to buy it because I already know that one works with the harvester that I have right now. And I want to buy this one knowing that it's too small or too tall. See, that's why I'm using that one next for the big one. So there's those machines. Now, the, another thing you do, and this is what I like to do. I already cut the grass. So right now the grass is growing and the... Uh, the uh, resources are growing. I gathered my, har I harvested, I picked up the bales, I wrapped up the bales, I sold them all, and then I went ahead and started seeding. While the guy was seeding, I'm sorry, while the guy was plowing, I cut the grass and I was able to go ahead and start turning the uh, the grass so it can dry out. After I was done turning, the guy was finished plowing that he was ready to seed. So I started seeding. And while he was seeding, I was able to um, center all of the uh, grass so it's easier to pick up. And then I uh, pretty much wrapped them up and well in the first wrapper and then I was able to wrap them up what you saw me in the last video so the overall machines you would use the operation is you got your front and your back loader of the of the, of the grass mower then you use this machine right here to flip it the grass that you just cut then you use this machine right here to center all the stuff so it'd be easier to pick up. And then I use this thing right here to actually pick up the grass and turn them into balls. Or I call them balls for some odd reason, but they're actually like cylinder looking hay. And you can do the same thing when you're uh, picking up the wheat and stuff with this machine but uh, when it comes to the grass operation this is the same machine you can use but anyway after that's said and done you go back with this machine and it wraps it up so it can ferment and turn the silage and the silage is like the best money maker in the whole game or at least so I've seen so far I haven't gone into wood working yet so this is 
the best startup uh, money, I guess you can say. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, one new thing I learned about this game is this is actually a silo for temporary storage. So if I went up with a tractor on one of these things, it gives me the option to unload of four different types of stuff, which is wheat, barley, uh, well shit, let's hook up the tractor real quick. So I can show you, and plus if you're new to the game, you actually would know about this right away, at least for me. I think it was corn and potatoes. Let me, let me, let me, uh, see that for sure. Right now, this, the silo is only holding barley. Let's see. There it is. Alright, so we wheat, barley, canola, or corn. And I just emptied out my barley earlier. But yeah, I'm starting my wheat, and then I'm going to do a thing of barley, I'm going to do a thing of canola, I'm going to do a thing of corn. And, uh,. That's the only thing you can really store in your silo. You can store the potatoes and beets in the building in front of me that I'm coming up to right now, but I haven't yet been able to grow that stuff to actually store it, so for now, uh, it's just empty. <laughs> I already used up my reserves that you get when you first start the game. Oh, and one small thing I haven't showed y'all guys. Um, I actually got a pressure washer so I can wash my vehicles. <laughs> Pretty neat, eh? Um, it was already washed. I washed it before I started recording, so it wasn't really something to show. Um, you got your fuel tanks to fuel up your stuff, and your fertilizer is in this tank right here. Now you can do stuff like um, raise chickens and cows and stuff, but I haven't really thought about it yet. I uh, In the multiplayer map, I'm actually raising chickens, but they only gave me one egg so far. I don't know what to do with it. I picked it up, and I don't know what to do with it. Um, I think I need to take it to the diner. I'll figure that out later, but uh, for now, I'm just stumped. <laughs> and then for the cows, you have to make sure they're fed and everything, so I don't feel like cutting grass a lot just to feed my cows, so, you know, screw the cows for now. <laughs> so, yeah. Alright, well, that's it for showing off the pretty much the basics of what I've got um, so far. I'll make sure I'll update y'all guys with um, my progress in the game, maybe live stream the game some more, I'm not sure uh, of the quality on Twitch, but we'll see what happens. Um, so until then, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll catch y'all later.